Hello scrappers, Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you yet another way to make stannous chloride solution when you need it to test for the presence of gold, okay? Uh, I have several other videos on this, and generally I make it as a batch in a container. Where is it? Like this. Um, the problem is this stuff goes bad after a week or two at the most. And, you know, I haven't needed it that much lately. I've been, you know, if you know me, I've been working on other stuff. Uh, but I'm getting back to working on the gold. And, uh, well, I need some status chloride solution. But I don't want to make up a batch that's going to be, you know, take, take all day to dissolve and go bad in a week or two. So I figured out a sort of on-demand method for making a little bit of stannous chloride when I need it. So how am I going to do this? Well, you need a little test tube, uh, a pipette, uh, some tin. I've got here some uh, pure tin uh, shot. Looks like my stock's getting a little low, but don't worry. I have more. Um, and you need some muriatic acid. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, four or five of these little bits of shot here. I get them out. That's plenty, I'm sure. And put them in the bottom of this small test tube, just like that. All right. That in there. And then I am going to top this off. Not all the way to the top with some muriatic acid. Just enough to do, you know, three, four, five stannous chloride tests for one little project. And it'll be super fresh. That's pretty good. I don't think I want to fill it any higher than that. Yeah, it'll be super fresh, and if it goes bad in a couple of days, that's okay. I'll make more. It doesn't take very long. So... It's very cold today. Now, I can see it's not showing up on camera, I'm sure, but there's a little bit of bubbling going on there. I'll see if I can get a close-up for you. Yeah, it's bubbling away, but it's awful cold out here, so we're going to have to speed that up. Otherwise, this would take all day and maybe into tomorrow to dissolve some of that tin. Okay, but that's... That's really slow because it's so darn cold. We're going to speed this up a little bit so that this stuff will be ready in 30, 45 minutes tops. So let me show you how we're going to do that. So the way we're going to speed this up is I'm just setting this test tube in my smallest speaker over here on the hot plate. And I'm just going to turn the hot plate on so it just gets warm. We don't want to boil this, but we do want to just warm it up. I don't know, get it up to, you know, 50, 50 C maybe, you know, 95, 100F, something like that. And that will really speed up this reaction. So we'll warm this up and we'll just let it go. Um, you'll see in a little bit the reason why I didn't fill the test tube up any higher than this. I'll show you that once this warms up some. So here's what's going on now that things have warmed up a bit in there. Yeah, that's a much more uh, vigorous reaction. That'll get some uh, some stannous chloride in solution quicker. So like I said, don't boil it. You just got to warm it up and uh, the reaction will take off. And the reason I didn't fill this up all the way is because this reaction can get so vigorous that the bubbles will start pushing the liquid out the top of the tube. So you don't want that. Leave a little air space at the top so the hydrogen bubbles coming off there don't push stuff out of the tube. Okay, so we're going to let this react for a little while longer, and then we'll give it a test and see if it actually works. All righty, so it's been maybe 45 minutes. This stuff's still bubbling pretty good, but I suspect there's enough tin in solution now that we've got some stannous chloride and we can actually use it. This is why I call it kind of like an on-demand production system. If you need some stannous chloride, you can get it fairly quick without making a whole bunch of it. So I've got a solution here that may or may not contain some gold. Let's test it and see. I just get 
a drop or two of this and put it in the spot plate. Okay. And let's get a few drops of our still very bubbly stuff here and put it in the spot plate. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. I would say there's some gold in that solution. We got a good dark purple indication there. So, yeah. Okay. Good to know. There's some gold in here. Excellent. And I didn't have to mix up a big batch of Stannis chloride to figure that out. So that's great. This stuff, you know, it'll be good for a few more days, probably. And then I can just dump the liquid off. There'll still be tin in the bottom. I can add some more um, muriatic acid to it and make another batch in another half hour, 45 minutes, and do another test if I, if I need some more in the next couple of days. So it works great. So there you go. I hope you found this uh, Stannis Chloride on Demand uh, video interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see my future videos. There'll be more gold recovery videos coming down the pike, so subscribe to see them. Check out my two other channels, Electro Geek 64 Mike's Lapidarian Fossils. There's good stuff going on there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.